Welcome to the class there, my friends, and I am so happy to be in your company today. And guys, power up your tools. We are getting started. So this um, is a cupboard shelving that I had and I took out one part of it. I separated the whole part and I cut out the piece to get these two smaller shelves to, to have in the separate rooms. Now with the extra shelf, I want to redo this into a barber shop station because my son has a barber shop and he has cubicles that he wants to rent all these spaces so we're going to be using making this into a station for one of the renters now i am doing a decor for that barber shop but i'll share all the projects with you later on now this is a power up collab hosted by the lovely cancera diy it and zena from okay at home and a whole lot of other ladies and all the information is going to be in the description box below this is a collaboration about women using power tools to empower women you know to show that they can do it there is also going to be a 25 dollars gift card giveaway from amazon um, that can see diy it and xena came up with and you have to visit each one of the presenters channels and say their secret word that is going to be shown or given to you. We had gotten a whole lot of doors that I reused and changed into picture frames and so on. And I decided, well, because he wanted like a cupboard that you can close in, we attached these two old doors straight. But as you notice, there's a space in the center. The space was about seven and a half inches. And the height, I think, was about 36 or somewhat like that. And I had to go looking for a piece of wood that would fit that space. But luckily, my other son had the width, exact width. But the board was in two pieces. So I decided we did not want to go and purchase anything because we are spending so much money redoing the, sh the shop deco that I decided I'm going to use the two pieces, separate pieces. I cut off this little strip that I had with my little hacksaw blade. I have screws different sizes and I did paint the boards black. My intentions is to use this block to hold on to the first piece and this one was too short. I will be putting one to build some height to this the bottom piece so that the nails and the screws that I'm going to be using to attach it to the existing cupboard is going to hold it properly. I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. So today guys I'm just using a simple screw gun and you know still some people are intimidated by a screw gun and I'm going to also be using a jigsaw. Um, necessarily I don't have really any other tools because I don't do a lot of woodwork but i am planning to do a lot more so i will be trying to get some more of that guys you will be hearing the roosters because it is very early here and i'm trying to catch the quietness now at the top there i'm just gonna cut off the excess i didn't want to take it away from the center first board because it would have dropped too low and like i said i want to use this board that i installed here to hold the other piece I'm just using some wood glue and resting that, placing that on top of it. I am going to fill the space that you're seeing there. And I'm still going to use some screws to secure it to the block. And everything is holding really nicely. The doors are opening and closing very good. So my secret word is jigsaw. So do comment in the comment section. So I'm just mixing some of the wood glue and some of the sawdust so that I can fill up this piece and then I'm going to sand it and paint the whole thing. Now this other piece, this one I'm keeping, but termite, when I checked the cupboard, termite infested the whole bottom piece. So I cut that bottom piece away. 
I am using a one by three piece of pine and I'm just securing it to the bottom to add some sturdiness to there. And I'm just using the screw gun again to install that. Now we are at the barber shop and we are going to install the station. We want it to be about eight, say 15 inches above the floor because you don't want it on the floor. We also had to put some brace to the back of it like how I did the other piece so that we could have sent the strong hit it nails through the wall through the board into the wall and it holds very nicely I went ahead and painted the the door gray and these are the colors that he has in his shop and this is the first coat it's not yet fully dried and I'm going to give it a second coat and I have to install the handles on it so that's the next step once it's dry I will so the handles are now installed and guys look how lovely it looks so these are some quick pics of you that my son took out to show you how it looks in the shop we have a little more work to do before we actually finish the shop but guys I am so thankful that you stopped by thanks for your comments and your love do visit the other channels and do say their secret word in their comment section. And we will see you next time. Hope you enjoy. Catch you later. Bye guys.